Logan uh, is a wonderfully written character. Um, I think the biggest challenge with him is that the whole time, he, he's a man of, of real honor and integrity, you know, and, and he commands such respect amongst his fellow Marines. That's the world that he sort of belongs in. Uh, and then when he goes home to find this girl, uh, it's interesting. He's, he's sort of lost his sense of purpose. He's kind of like a wounded samurai, you know, like without a master. <laughs> it's interesting. But I think uh, the biggest challenge for me to play him was that he is the strong, silent type. He's a man of integrity. Um, and uh, he's got sort of this secret that he can't share with this girl, and that kind of is eating alive in him. Um, I'd say that was the biggest part, was, was uh, playing such a great guy. The physical change was one of the um, more challenging aspects of playing the role, for sure. He was just a bigger guy than me, and uh, after being at war and being, going through several tours, I think your body takes on sort of a different, uh, different shape. And um, so I spent a lot of time training with a Navy SEAL to, to bulk up and to look like Logan. You know, I, I guess you could say I was a fan. I was a fan of The Notebook. I wasn't really aware of, uh, of Nick Sparks other than that. Um, but what I've come to learn is that he writes very, very incredibly profound uh, love stories. He writes great characters, um, and I think in this movie you meet two people that you want to see fall in love, and that's the key. You know, he, uh, he writes very well. I've never walked across the country, but uh, I'm definitely romantic, yeah, for sure. I, I've I like to do, I think anything um, that is personal that you do for a girl is great. Like in terms of gifts, I like to, rather than just buy flowers, I like to write, write a song or, I don't know, jeez, um, a, a paint, sometimes a paint for girls and stuff like that. Taylor was easy to work with. She was great. We got along very well. Um, she was lovely. We met at the screen test, and she gave a, a great performance uh, during the screen test, and we read a great scene, and I knew it, at that moment that she was perfect for the part, and we cast her almost immediately. But it was, was great. It was in between uh, the scenes that we read. I was sort of just sitting on the grass outside, and, and she came over, and we just talked for like you know half hour, 45 minutes. And I knew that once we connected on a personal level, that um, we would have some chemistry outside of. It was great. It was great. I don't know what, um, they, they have this sort of idea about love scenes that they're incredibly awkward. For sure, I mean, there, there's moments that, that are awkward, but um, me and Taylor knew each other every which way at that point, and we had the utmost respect for each other. It was, I imagine if, you're, if your co-star is kind of weird or you guys are not getting along, it would be hard, but Taylor was lovely. So uh, it was the easiest day on work, e easiest day at work, in my opinion. Um, it's one of my favorite places to visit. Uh, the, the culture's fantastic. Uh, you, there's so much history. Um, I, I really enjoyed uh, my last trip to Spain when I got to go visit Toledo because I was able to see a little bit about what it used to be like, you know. Um, but there's so much history, so much great food, fantastic music, and people are lovely. Um, so, I don't know, it always has a, uh, I have a place for Spain in my heart. Uh, hey Spain, uh, I'm very excited for you guys to see The Lucky One. I can't wait to come out and visit, but I really, really hope you enjoy the film. Thank you.